In this video, I'm going to explain the AI balancer functionality, how it can be applied to make AI uh, patrol in two different zones. Each AI that will be spawned will start patrolling in one of these two zones. So for this little uh, demonstration, I've created this test mission. Um, what I've done is I have significantly increased the amount of clients that are defined at Primsk, around 12 slots are being defined at the moment. And then I've defined here two polygon zones. Um, the polygon zone is being, each polygon zone is being defined by a pathway of a group that is being uh, inactivated through the late activation flag. I define each uh, polygon uh, by a group that has a name patrol zone and then an identifier one or two, right? And this is important when we look at the script. So what I'm doing is in the mission script, I am defining an array of two polygon zones that are being defined using the polygon the zone polygon class and then when the AI balancer uh, spawns for each human that is not within a slot then the AI balancer will spawn an AI and will command the AI to start patrolling in one of these two zones and it will select from the zone array one of these two zones and it will command it to start patrolling there. All right, so let's have a look at the script. The script can be found in AI balance, in the test missions, AI balancing, AIB005, patrol AI and randomized zones. Um, this is basically the code. Um, I'm not going into the details again on how you set up an AI object that's still here, but then I'm doing something special. I am creating two polygon zones. So I'm using the group, I'm finding the group of the patrol that defines a patrol zone, in this case, patrol zone one, and the pathway of that group is then being used by uh, using the constructor of the zone polygon class, which defines a polygon zone. And I'm giving this thing a name and I'm giving the group object here that has a pathway and um, and the result of that will be stored in this variable here patrol zone one I'm doing the same here to create a second polygon zone and then I'm creating an array an array that has two elements patrol zone one and patrol zone two that can be indexed by a number from one to two okay now when the AI balancer spawns a new AI, as I explained, this event handling method will be called. So when the state, no, sorry, when the event spawn is being fired off, yeah, is being triggered, then this, then the AI balancer object will call this uh, event handling function with these parameters. And one of these parameters is AI group. So now I can instantiate and command the AI group to start patrolling at a patrol zone by instantiating the patrol zone here. But what I'm doing here as a parameter is something very special. I am commanding to choose one of the two patrol zones from the patrol zone array by using this randomization command, which is a standard Lua command, math dot random one comma two and the result of that will be a number one or two and by using the indexing syntax of an array so patrol zone array and then you need to have these square brackets here right and then applying the math random command one comma two in there the result of that will be that one of these two patrol zone objects will be chosen and will be given as a result as a parameter to the patrol zone constructor Okay, and this is the way how you can easily randomize uh, the AI you know, to start patrolling in one of these two zones that were defined within the mission. Now let's have a look how this runs. Okay, so 
I have just started the mission as a demonstration and now you can see these uh, planes that are being spawned for placing uh, the non-presence of humans within the mission to start patrolling in one of these uh, two zones. Right, so you see the zone here being defined and the zone there being defined. And planes are just patrolling there. So I hope this is a nice demonstration. Please try out the test mission to see how this uh, really works. And you are free to customize it wherever you want. Bye-bye.